Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Amanda here. Today, I have a huge, huge haul. Not from one time, it's from multiple shopping trips, multiple, I mean, it's like over a course of two weeks. But I finally got all the orders that I ordered online in. I've been waiting to film this all day long. It is now after 10 o'clock at night because one of my Ulta packages took forever forever to get here and when it finally did get here it was dinner time and I had a headache and so I had to wait till the boys went to bed and now we are here I did just film this makeup look it's nothing extraordinary I did a first impression on a new product that I'll be hauling today so if you want to see what product it is just stay tuned to that video if it's not already out and you can see how I feel about it yeah all right guys there's a lot of products we're gonna go really fast. If you wanna see what I got in my recent shopping hauls, then just keep on watching. All right, first up, because this was the first product I bought, and I actually ordered this a while ago. This is what my first impression's on. It's from the brand Mascara. And so I'll just do a quick little synopsis of it because I do have a video on it coming out. Um, I stuck my fingers in it. Um, and so these, so you do kind of, it's supposed to be for like fast, easy makeup. It's kind of like a Senegent's company in the sense where like people host parties and that's how you order it. That's how I heard about it. A girlfriend of mine was hosting a party. Um, a friend of hers, I guess, sells it. And so I wanted to be nice and I ordered something and it's a makeup brand and I'd never heard of it before. So I figured, hey, what the heck? So um, again, it's from the brand Mascara. And so you order, there's tons of different shades. I picked up two lighter um, shades to use as highlight and two darker shades that you kind of use as your contour. And But you like mix and match your foundation. And then I also picked up a bronzer shade and a blush and a highlights, all of which are cream products. And then it does come, I picked out a powder shade um, to try and set it. There's so many different colors to choose from. This is like a smaller palette size. They have bigger ones. These are Z palettes. Um, and so they just magnet stick in there. So it's good for traveling. It's easy like that. You can watch my first impressions on it and see how it's going. Watch my first impressions. That's all I'm going to say. All right. There's going to be like no rhyme or reason. And not even, like I just have things kind of just thrown on my desk. So I'll try, if I remember where I bought it from, I'll let you know. Um, but these are like the ones that I'm most excited for. I picked up two um, of these. They are the Cover FX Monochromatic. I got a bronzer and I got a blush duo. I've been, ever since these came out, like, oh, I keep putting them in my cart, take them out of my cart. Put them in my cart, take them out of my cart. But I'm so excited for them. I love, love, love the packaging. This one ooh, is the bronzer one. So it comes with a matte bronzer and a little bit shiny of a bronzer. So it's worth, I think they're like $38, but it's cover effect. So one, you know, it's good. So it's a matte and then it's a shimmer. So either you can do really matte, you could do shimmer, you could mix it together. So it's like three shades in one. That's how I justified it. So I picked up the bronzer in Sunkiss Bronze. And then I also picked up one of the blush ones in Pink Dahlia. Oh, it's so pretty. Like, I'm going to take these traveling with me because then I just need to bring one bronzer and one blush and I can mix it up in a couple different ways. Let me, ooh, oh, they feel so smooth. I honestly don't know. Oh, that's pretty. So those are the two, here, I'll put it down. Those are the two blushes. This is the matte and the shimmer. I honestly don't think I've ever purchased anything from Cover FX before. I can't, I'm trying to think. I'll do a swatch the bronzers. The matte, oh, that matte's gonna be perfect. Oh, I love the shimmer. That'd be really, really pretty as like an eyeshadow. This, I think the shimmer, I would use some more so in the summertime, which we're coming to the end of summer, but I'm excited for these. Remember I said I was gonna go fast with this and I'm already like five minutes into this video. All right, with my, I got those from Ulta by the way, but I know you can get them at Sephora. Let me get these out of the way to make it nice and easy. See if I can gather them all up. Ulta, when I was purchasing, they were doing, I think this is all of them. Oh, no, there's one more. Holy moly. They were doing, I think if you set, spent, oh, like I said, it's the end of the night, so my hair's all over the place. This is not going to be a cute video. Um, if you spent a certain amount of money, you got a whole bunch of free mascaras. And so I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, that's not a mascara. I got eight travel size mascaras most of which I've never tried before so this is the Milani new high rated 10 in 1 volume mascara it's called highly rated 
never tried it, never even heard anything about it. Um, this is Ico London Lash Alert. Lash Alert Mascara Wake Up and Go. Never heard of anything from that brand before. Too Faced Better Than Sex, can't go wrong. BH Cosmetics Stellar Lash. I've obviously heard of BH Cosmetics, but I've never tried a mascara from them. Bad Gal Bang, which is like one of my favorite mascaras ever. It is by Benefit. I actually need to purchase another one because this one's like almost, almost out. Um, Urban Decay Bigger, Blacker, Batter, which I remember hearing a lot about this mascara, so I'm excited to try that one. I got one from Buxom. It's Intensely Volumizing. Is that what it's called? Maybe, maybe. And then last but not least, one from Pure. It's called Fully Charged. So eight mascaras for free. I mean, they're trial sizes. They don't get very many uses out of them, but you could, I mean, that's basically like an entire makeup or mascara one that I just got for free. So I'm all about it. I'm not going to swatch them. I'm not going to open them. Oh, I'm throwing them. I'm not going to open them or anything like that because once they're open, they start going bad. So, all right. Um, I guess since we're doing free products, I also got for free from Benefit a Bravo Conditioning Power. Um, I actually already have one of these. So, I mean, they're decent sized ones, which I think I might send this to my girlfriend, Shalmer, because I think this is what she was saying that she really likes, and she was super nice. I guess I can include this in the haul. Um, she was just here not too long ago, and she left the Tatcha Silk Canvas, um, just like the little sample size, which, I mean, this is still $20. Um, she wasn't a huge fan of it, and so she left me it to try, and so I think I need to send this one to her. I also picked up, oh, this totally counts, like right before this haul, I finally picked up the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. I'm still deciding which one I like more, if I like either of them. I should probably make a video on that, but I also picked that up very recently, so that totally counts for this video. All right, so this Shalimar, remind me, and I'll send this to you. I also picked up the Roller Liner Eyeliner from Benefit, because I also really love the Roller Lash, and so I figured, might as well try the eyeliner. The only um, liquid eyeliners I even have, I have three different versions of them, are from Kat Von D. Um, and they're starting to dry out. And I'm not a huge fan of Kat Von D, like as a human being. And so I kind of don't want to keep supporting her. I love the fact that they like match each other. Isn't that so cute? I don't want to open it yet because I don't want it to dry out and I don't need it yet. Whatever, I'll try. Ooh, it's a felt tip, which... Ooh, ooh, let's hope it dries on matte. It's really nice though. It bends a lot. I am not very good at all. Like zero pressure at all. Look at how small that is. I am not very good when it comes to liquid eyeliner. So maybe I just need practice. I mean, obviously I need practice. So I picked up another Maybelline Last Sensational Mascara. This is just a restock because this one that I have now is one of my absolute favorites, but it's starting to dry out and get clumpy and like goopy and gross on me so I wanted to buy a backup one of these and so I picked this one up I also picked a backup of Revlon um kiss chapstick in oh they call it a balm it's a chapstick come on it has an SPF 20 I absolutely love this I have this in multiple shades I have currently I have peach and strawberry um and so they have little tints to them which is what I really like I can't get to them at the moment I was going to um this one is my very favorite one I can't why isn't it telling me the, oh this is in tropical coconut I love this chapstick like or balm whatever I guess we can be sophisticated and call it a balm I love this like I said I have it in like a peach and I have it in a, a strawberry and then I picked it up in a cherry because they give like great great tints here let me show you I don't want to open this one yet but oh here's this one so this one is peach, which I've had this in a haul before. It's kind of hard to show with all the lights. And then this one is strawberry, which I use strawberry like absolutely crazy. And it just gives a little bit of a tint. It's super moisturizing. They're scented, like so good. And they have an SPF in them. So I absolutely love them. So I was super excited. And I'm pretty sure they were like buy one, get one free or buy one, get one half off. So I picked up the cherry one because it's a little bit darker of a red. And like I said, they're super easy. You just throw them on and it looks like you put a lot of effort in when you really did it. Like my go-to is just putting a little bit of mascara on, putting like brow gel, not even brow color on, and then throwing a little bit of tinted chapstick on. And it looks like I'm super put together when really I'm just a hot mess. We're going so fast. I'm so proud of me. All right. As I'm like 10 minutes into this video. Oh, I also picked up 
I'm not picked up got for free a poor professional like how cute and tiny it is it's so small um benefit sent this as well for free i tried professional years ago and i wasn't a huge fan of it but i haven't been able to find a poor filling primer that i like so i'm going to give this a try again the reason i, I remember i didn't like it before and i might have just been putting too much product on which is why i wanted to try it again which I was gonna purchase it, but when I noticed that they were giving me a free sample, I was like, mm, why am I gonna repurchase it if I can try a free sample? Cause this will last me a decent amount of time. Um, but before when I had it, it kept peeling on me, like pilling, pilling, that's the word. Like I would put it on and then it would just kind of ball up on me. And so I think I probably just had too much on. So I wanted to give this a try again, which I'm super excited about. Oh, next I have in front of me is Benefit Brow Amazing Deal. Um, it was two perfect or there's a goof proof brow pencil which is like the little bit thicker one and then a precisely my brow which is a little bit thinner eyebrow pencil got both of these for $32 which benefit I mean Anastasia is really good I mean if you could see here like I have so many different ones I have drugstore ones I have high-end ones I love benefit brow products I think they're my favorite honestly and truly um there's some really good drugstore ones. Like I really like Total Temptation um, by Maybelline if you want like a little bit cheaper of one. But the Benefit ones are phenomenal. And then this is another stock up that I needed. A NYX um, Stay Matte But Not Flat Powder Foundation. You guys know that this is like my holy grail and I go through it like absolutely crazy. I've never ever purchased anything from the brand Kula. And I picked up the Makeup Setting Spray. The thing... That, like really sold me on this um, and got me like really excited like I said I'm going to Florida soon and so I'm not gonna really take that much makeup with me but I'm super in to having SPF on my face is what I'm trying to say and I can't get into that here let me get my scissors out um, and this setting spray apparently has an SPF of 30 in it and so my moisturizer that I wear has an SPF of 30 I don't really think I want to take foundation because like that's honestly and truly I don't I think I'm just gonna bring a little concealer and some of my face powder but then I'm gonna set my face with this um, it's a setting spray sunscreen spray is what it's called makeup setting sunscreen spray by cool it 70% organic so like 30% isn't organic I mean I don't really care let's see what the mist looks like Ooh, kind of smells like alcohol honestly and truly oh but now it's kind of minty strange i mean it feels really good it's a really soft mist it says farm to face plant protection antioxidant enriched reef friendly cruelty free vegan a lot i mean it's a glass bottle it's not gonna be the best to travel with i'm gonna keep the box so i can read up on it some before we go i'm super excited for this for the spf factor i don't really know if it really will set my face I'll probably still bring my Urban Decay All Nighter setting spray since I'm oily to set my face and then I'll probably spray this over that. So it's a lot of steps, but I don't want to get sunburn on my face and I don't want to get wrinkly and the more sunscreen, the better. Um, with that, it also gave me a free product with this. It's a great size for a free product. This is an SPF 30 Face Kula Mineral Sunscreen Unscented, unscented Matte Tint Mineral BB Cream. I don't remember if they like asked me what shade I am. Do they just assume everybody's the same shade? Well, I'm definitely not yellow. So maybe it turns into your shade. Ooh, it feels really nice and it really, ooh, it kind of like, I don't know if you'll be able to tell, it made it like matte. Like it looks like a pore filling primer feels really nice though Ooh, has a little bit of a scent to it but nothing crazy Ooh, I'm excited for that so I picked up two Sumbum products I picked up an anti-frizz oil mist and I also picked up a shine on beach formula so this has UV protecting lightweight and hydrating hair oil treatment with a blend of pure coconut argan oil sweet almond oil sunflower seed oil and banana leaf it's for all hair types so it's like argon oil infused is what it says so i bought this to kind of use as like a heat protectant because i know argon oil is really good um and i have a couple different argon oils but they are pumps and i thought this was a spray but as i'm looking at it it's still a pump so i mean i guess no matter what i have to use my hands i just thought it'd be easier to use it as a spray form but i'm excited to try this and then i'm 
excited to try the anti-frizz oil mist premium lightweight dry hair oil enriched with I have no idea what this word is something nut oil something oil and sea kelp um I just have really frizzy hair especially like right now you can tell like I still have a decent amount of product in my hair to try and keep the frizz down and I just have tons of frizz and so the more products the better and the better about heat protectant the better so I'm excited to try these out I couldn't help myself. Lord knows I have enough brushes, but they're just so pretty. This is the original collection from Jeffree Star. I know he and Morphe just released a different uh, collab of brushes with a face palette, which I, or with an eyeshadow palette, which I did buy the eyeshadow palette. Um, I want to buy the sponges. I haven't gotten those yet, but I have tons of sponges. And I, cause I love the Morphe sponges. That's what I use. And so, but they come in pink, but I was actually decent and I, decent I'm always decent but I was smart and I didn't buy it because I have enough on backup so I picked up his brush set though um, which comes with a cute little clear case which that'd be great for traveling and then it picked up his brushes and let's be honest I picked up the brushes purely because they're pink and cute I will say they're a little cheesy feeling I mean I don't know what I was expecting um, the brushes themselves like the hairs were really good but there's no weight to them. Like they're really lightweight, but they're super cute. And let's be honest, I bought them because they're cute. So, all right, moving on. These are like really weird products. I actually already jumped into this one. It's in majority of it's in Korean, so I can't really read it. But I picked this up at Marshall's for $6. And it's like one of those feet masks that makes your feet peel. So it comes with one mask that you put on for an hour and like within the next couple weeks makes your feet peel. And then once they peel or start to get healthier, it comes with two more masks that you put on your feet for like 20 minutes at a time. And these are like moisturizing masks. I did the peeling one. I definitely did notice that my feet peeled a little bit, but it's like they're still peeling. Like it's super ugly and super gross. So I'm gonna have to go get a pedicure before we go to Florida anyways, but I'm like wanting the peeling to stop before I go into like the people doing my feet are like, ew, what's going on here? So, I mean, it kind of worked. I mean, my feet are still peeling. They don't, it didn't peel like this. That's for sure. Like it definitely, which that would be super gross if my feet peeled like that. So I'm kind of okay with that. I don't know. It's weird. I also picked up, and this might just be, my husband totally made fun of me for when I picked these up. These were six bucks also at Marshall's. They are hemp detoxifying foot pads because I wanted, my girlfriend was in town and I wanted us to all do it. But then I was smart and like read the instructions and you're supposed to put them on your feet like every day for eight hours for like an entire week. Okay, one pad per foot, five days on, two days off. So yeah, it takes like a week. But you keep them on your feet and it's supposed to like draw toxins out of your body. And I read online that it makes you feel better. It helps with like all these different things. And I've almost purchased them so many times on Amazon, but I'm pretty sure they're a crock of crap. And so when I saw them at Marshall's for six bucks, like if it's six bucks, I'm out six bucks, who cares? But I need to try these, but my feet are peeling so bad, like on the bottoms of my feet that I can't do these yet. So I just need to wait for my feet to get under control and then I'll try these out and I'll let you know how they go. I have wanted this for so long and it's just a water spray. It's, it's super cold because it's like a compressed bottle, but you can use it as like a refresher. It's literally just water. That's all it is. To like cool down, set your makeup. You can use it. I know it's like wet your brushes to put on like glitter eyeshadow and stuff like that, but it's the Evian Facial Spray. Um, this is like the giant size one. I got this at Marshall's for like eight bucks. Like the smaller ones at Sephora are like $16. And so... I've always wanted it it's stupid it's literally just pressurized water in a can that they sell for 20 bucks and I fell for it and I bought it and I like it like it's super refreshing it does set your makeup I mean it doesn't hold your makeup in because it doesn't have like chemicals and stuff to it but if you want like the powdery powderiness the powder look to go down it works for that so I'm sold I like it I like it. I also picked up a Real Techniques finishing sculpting brush to go with that um, cream makeup set that I bought. I didn't have very many cream brushes. And so I picked up this one. I've had this one in the past. I think I got rid of it at some point through the years. I can't open this at the moment, but it's kind of at an angle. 
So I figured this would be really good to do for like contour and bronzer. Um, so I picked that up to go with it. These are kind of like, I didn't pick, Marshalls hasn't had that good of stuff recently. That's why I'm just throwing my Marshalls stuff in here. But I did pick up a 24 karat gold um, illuminating facial serum. I'm trying to get better into skincare. And so I was watching a Shannon XO video. Um, it was her ASMR video and she was doing like her skincare routine and she just put so many oils on her face and on her neck and her chest and like her skin is beautiful. Granted, she's younger than me, so her skin should be beautiful, but she's only like five years younger than me, so but she doesn't have kids, so her skin better look better than me. But um, she talked a lot about oils and she talked a lot about um, just like face toner sprays, to, like spray on your face in between your cleansers and everything just to like give your face a little bit of life back to it. And so this one I picked up from Marshalls also. It's a lavender and chamomile face toner, small batch wild crafted. This is a glass bottle. It's super nice. I've never heard anything about this product before. It's super earthy. Like, like it, it just kind of smells like you're spraying essential oils on your face, which isn't terrible. It has organic aloe, organic white willow bark, tea tree essential oil, lavender essential oil, and glycerin which again, I don't know that much about toners and all of that, but it definitely feels good on your face when you spray it. I know my mother-in-law, when she gets her toner, and I think she gets hers from last, she keeps it in the fridge. So in the summertime, like when she sprays it on her face, it's super refreshing. So I really want to get one of those like little fridges that you put all your skincare products in. Like I think that's what I'm going to ask for Christmas for my husband. There's a really cute marble one on Ulta. I need to look at Sephora. Um, but I just really want all my skin. I really want to get into skincare. Like when you see my next couple products, you can tell, but um, I wanted to show you this illuminate. I don't really necessarily think it's illuminating, but I don't know if it'll show up on camera. It has little gold reflex in it, but when you put it on, like it's not like your face gets shiny. I mean, the gold's there, but it's not like it looks like glitter. Um, it kind of just like rubs away. But super cool, super into that. And then I also picked up a retinol facial oil, anti-aging skin repair serum for all skin types. Again, I got this at Marshall's, um, for pretty cheap. I mean, I don't know, it's by Go Global Beauty Care. But I know Shannon talks about uh, retinol oil and she pretty much said like anything that says anti-aging, she buys and this said anti-aging, so I bought it. I'm a sucker straight up sucker um another product i picked up at marshall's is a peter thomas roth which peter thomas roth is an amazing line my girlfriend shalmer got me into him and i was so excited i mean this was still 15 dollars at marshall's when i got it um but it's a mattifying gel and i'm an oily skin girl i don't know where i was going with this but i have oily skin so it's a mattifying um primer and so it doesn't hurt to try it it's peter thomas roth which i know is great i'm super excited to try this out i've been saving it for this video i picked up before we get to it all summer long all i have wanted from like all the different brands i wanted all of them all the body shimmers the body glows everything i wanted to get one before we went to our wedding in san diego but i didn't i didn't pull the trigger um, we have a wedding that we're going to in September that I really wanted one for. And like I said, we're going to Florida in a couple weeks and I really wanted the body glitter, but something like just kept holding me back, holding me back. Like I couldn't decide. I thought I was going to go with the Sol de Janeiro one. Um, the Anastasia Beverly Hills one looked really pretty. Uh, the, is it Patrick Tala one looked really pretty. The Huda Beauty was a little too intense. And so I knew I wasn't going to go that route, but, oh, and then one day this just walked into my life i saw it everywhere thanks to youtube and people getting free products and talking about the free products and making me want to go buy those products but not for free i picked up the shimmery dry oils from soul body um soul body soul body soul body is a sister company to color pop oh my gosh look at how pretty i picked up two shades they came out with four shades I wanted all four, but I didn't need all four, so I did it. Um, I picked up Warm Gold, and I picked up the lightest shade in Platinum. I don't like that they have other glass bottles, so it's not going to be very good for traveling. So I planned ahead, and I bought a couple. This one's full of a different one. Um, plastic bottles that I think I'll fill into these and take with me. 
I tried making my own like that's how much I wanted it so this is a little bit of body oil and water and then some liquid highlighter um, and some loose highlighter and then I also did the same liquid highlighter and loose highlighter in um, a lotion form which it works pretty good I mean it definitely does the job but I still oh my lids broken that's sad it came broken hmm. oh well let's be honest I'm just gonna lose it super fast the one thing I was super bummed about which I bought a couple different ones but they're not working very good for me because they're shitting really bad because they're cheap um they were out of the body brush for it and so i have an elf one that i think will work pretty good um it's like the ch more expensive brand of elf brushes and so i don't it doesn't flake on me at all so i'm super super excited for these i need to stop shaking it it looks terrible but i wanted to try these <sighs> look at how pretty that is oh my husband's gonna make fun of me and call me a stripper but i don't care look at how pretty and it feels so nice holy moly it goes a long way though that's one pump do you like my pretty cigar i got this last summer or two summers ago and it's just so dark it doesn't like when i tan it just gets so it's a oil burn long story for a different day oh my goodness so pretty Oh, and it smells so good, but oh my gosh. I look like a stripper, like in a good way. Don't be offended. Pretty sure there's no strippers watching me, so who really cares? All right, so that one was warm gold. Now let's try platinum. Oh my gosh, comes out super, super liquidy. Like I can't even turn my hand. This one's way liquidier. Oh my gosh. This one has like a yellow gold reflect to it, whereas this one is definitely like, definitely warm gold. Oh, they just feel like, it's just an oil. It absorbs really fast. It's not sticky. It's not oily. It feels really hydrating. I don't even know if it has hydrating properties to it. It's a luxe, lightweight, dry oil. Hence the, it's oily, but it's dry. With next level multi dimensional shimmer infused with coconut, argon, and marula oils for glistening, good for your glow, leaf skin drenched in an addictive tropical coconut aroma. Oh my gosh, it's like good for your skin too. I'm so excited. These are gonna last me so long. Like it's the end of the summer, and I finally, like, I could just stare at that forever. It's so pretty. Like it's the end of the summer, and I finally, finally jumped on board. But there's always next summer and like are you kidding me these bottles are so big they're gonna last me years but let's try and get this stripper club off of me me hence why i need a body brush because i don't want my hands to be like absolutely covered all right we still have more products to get into one more product and this video is stupid long last but not least i picked up my very first eyeshadow palette from ColourPop. Make sure it's not broken. Oh, it's so cute. It's smaller than I anticipated. I mean, it's fine though. Throw the little plastic protector out of the way. So pretty. This is the Sweet Talk Press Powder Palette. How pretty is this? Again, super, super summer shades, but I think it would work well going into fall. This pressed glitter looks amazing i have a wedding coming up like i said and this is basically like the dress that i'm wearing and so i think this palette will be so pretty on my i'm so excited i need to do a makeup video just on this um i've said it in so many of my videos i don't really wear eyeshadow in the summertime because it's a lot of effort i don't wear that much makeup in the summertime because it's a lot of effort my kids are home i'm tired i'm crabby i'm hot i'm forever sweating so fall time like Fall is when I like go crazy with eyeshadows. I don't know if you can see them, but like all those are eyeshadow palettes back there that I haven't touched in forever, almost a year. So I'm super excited that it's fall time to get back into this. I really want to swatch this palette, but I don't. I kind of want to do a first impressions on it. And so I'm going to like resist, so hardcore resist. I'm so excited for this palette. So excited. Like I said, it's the first ColourPop eyeshadow palette ever it's actually 
The only other ColourPop things I have is I bought within the last couple months a Super Shock highlighter, which I've used here and there, like just testing it here. I've never filmed with it, and so it's in my first impressions box still. And I have two ColourPop, oh my gosh, I'm pretty sure I just saw a spider. What was I saying? Oh, I have two ColourPop concealers that I really like, but that's it that I've used from ColourPop. This palette performs as well as I hear that ColourPop palettes perform. Feel like I'm gonna be in tons of trouble. But that is it. We made it to the end. I have an entire box of stuff down here overflowing with products that I need to find a new home for. Oh, there's still stuff all over my desk. Oh, to the end of the night. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you've tried any of these products before, if there's anything else out there that I need to purchase because I have so many Ulta points right now. It's beautiful and old. I can't even think right now because it's like 11 o'clock. It's 1045. Ulta's cheap days are coming and then Sephora's VIB sale is coming. So oh, I love that I can't think of what Ulta is called right now. But let me know if there's any other products that I need to keep an eye out for, for those sales coming up because Lord knows I will buy them and I will film a video on them. But that is it. I'm gonna go take my makeup off and go to bed. We're going, I don't remember if I said it in this video or in a different video, because they're all running together at this point. We're going to a water park tomorrow for my son's birthday. His birthday is a week from this weekend. So like in 10 days, something like that. I have a hair in my eyelash. Um, and so we opted to do just like a fun little family day instead of like a big birthday party, mainly because I go too crazy for birthday parties. So we are going to the water park tomorrow. So they are super excited. It's the end of summer. They go back to school next week and I can breathe again and film again super easily and not have to film at 10 o'clock at night. Here's hoping. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe, 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 subscribe. I'm just like over here holding this box up. Like, I'm so good at what I do. That's why I don't make any money. All right, guys. Thank you so much for the thousandth time. Have a great night. Bye.